if you hacked your Vita and then somehow you lost Vita Shell, uh, you're pretty stuck because Vita Shell helps you install your VBKs and all that. And what I did was I formatted my uh, memory card and that's why I lost everything. And But my Vita was still hacked. So when I tried to rehack it, uh, do all the steps again, I, I couldn't couldn't install the, the Vita Shell. So I stumbled across this website. Uh, so today I'm sharing with you this website. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description. There's only two files you need. So the first one is the QCMA and the second file you need is the PSV uh, image tools front end. Um, so once you've installed them both, uh, run the QCMA and then um, All right, so once you've got QCMA loaded, um, set your firmware version. Uh, I'm on 3.6 uh, and then click OK. So once you've done that, uh, go back to your Vita. Uh, I'm going to format the memory card one more time so I can show you guys that you know, it's a clean memory card with nothing installed on it all right so that's finished formatting um, I think it has to restart the machine uh, I'm gonna wipe, wipe the screen a little bit clean it's a little bit fudgy so you see, I've got the hack installed, but uh, on my live area, on my home screen, I don't have those apps that I need. I need uh, Mainly I need Vita Shell, so I can install those homebrew apps that I need. So now we go to the content manager. And you have to connect your uh, Vita to the computer through the USB cable. So I've already plugged that in. And then you can launch the PSV Imaging Tools program that you downloaded before. So now I'm going to launch that. And then we click on the easy installers. And then we select Vita Shell. And then we choose our account, our login account. And that should be done for the PC part. We go back to our PS Vita. And we copy the contents. We go to the copy contents, PC to PS Vita. We go to applications, PS Vita, and then you should see Vita Shell, and then we can copy it over. Now we should go back to the live area place and you should see the video shell app installed and then you can continue with your homebrew. So that's it for today guys. Uh, if this helped you out, uh, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, we'll see you in the next one.